Hello everyone, thank you for the introduction. So my name is Inga, I work for the National Center of Universities and Businesses, uh, just being introduced. Uh, and my aim of this uh, presentation, is, uh, presentation is to give them um, some insight into what employers, how employers view uh, work experience um, and to contribute to the discussion, but uh, we already have heard some uh, some views from the employers, so just to, to talk more about. Just to give a brief background to NCB, so yeah, NCB is a membership organization, our members are universities and businesses, uh, and as well it presents some public policy, so I have to be one of our funding members as well. And the remit of organization is to to facilitate collaboration, improve decisions, um, decision making in the area across the UK, and we do it by um, uh, providing a platform where leaders from both sectors can engage. Um, and one of our recent uh, projects looked at, uh, looked at the research and the development uh, between uh, and collaboration between universities and businesses in Scotland, in particular, Growing Valley, Pro uh, Growing Valley Scotland project was called. And the research from the organization is to provide evidence on uh, how to enhance collaboration, and particularly on the talents and skill sides. We look at the work experience uh, as we see it as a tool where employers can engage together to, to develop and to, to develop and to contribute to the, uh, the talent supply skill, um, talent supply. Uh, so today I'll talk. Um, I present two of our research projects. I will uh, mainly focus on the first one. Uh, work experience the gateway to talent in the UK, which is um, which is uh, based on the survey uh, we did with our uh, business members. Uh, we served them. Uh, we asked them questions about um, about work experience um, and so on. The other project look, looked at the um, actually looked at the uh, value of work experience for uh, for postgrad research postgrads and PhD holders. So for those. Uh, researchers who uh, did their PhD stayed in the uh, academia for a couple of years and then uh, uh, moved to, to work in industry. <coughs> so if we'll first talk about what existing research tells us about work experience in industry and then explain why we uh, decided to serve our business members uh, about this and uh, what we aim to achieve. And finally, of course, talk about results. So the, this project, uh, I should say it was actually done by my colleague, uh, Joan Wilson. Uh, she was unfortunately unable to come today. She just welcomed the baby boy a month ago, so she's uh, not moving for a while from London. Um, and uh, this was, we looked at the undergraduate experience in work placements. Uh, however, I think a lot of our findings will be applicable to postgraduates as well. And really like uh, listening to the, uh, the, the project on work, postgraduate work experience, I could see that a lot of things uh, all the lab. And also another thing to mention, uh, I don't think from employers, when we're speaking to employers, it's quite difficult for them uh, to, uh, to uh, think, for them to think in terms of postgraduates or undergraduates or even like identifying PhD holders was an, uh, an issue we encountered. So we really look at it as a whole, um, the talent supply. Uh, so to start with, um, what do we know about work experience? So the previous research uh, we done and which was done elsewhere, uh, we know that uh, undergraduate students um, do not always participate in work experience, even if it's an integral part of their degree, but optional, so the sandwich uh, kind of placements. And the most common state re uh, reasons for that were financial pressures, uh, so undergraduates tend to undervalue returns from work experience compared to getting to the graduate market early on. Uh, as soon as possible. Also, this uh, relates to geographical reason where we, the opportunities for work experience relates, and particularly an issue for students already involved in part-time jobs to support their studies. Um, so, soft skills, confidence in soft <coughs> skills was another very important issue, uh, which um, which was identified and uh, which prevents students from. Uh, um, taking part like or trying to get through very rigorous application process to get work experience and also prevents them from transferring that degree learning knowledge to uh, the world of work. Um, soft skills are very important because companies are very important for employers so our service for example a survey of um, business over 500 organizations done by a CBI so um, Confederation of British Industry found that a uh, 48 percent of employers were not satisfied with uh, soft skills such as uh, self-management resilience 
about 50 percent were not uh, happy with the communication skills graduates offered, and another 26 uh, mentioned that they lacked uh, team working skills. Um, Access to networks is another reason why students tend to prevent students from taking part in work experiences. So the access to information, um, um, contacts, uh, social barriers, um, is particularly relevant for students coming from less advantaged backgrounds. From the business side, we know that work experience is used as a recruitment tool. So again, similar studies, uh, CBI study found that 68% of uh, businesses say that a uh, work experience was an important factor in recruiting a graduate student. Uh, we also know from another service, UKCA survey, that the employers, um, that the employers value this, uh, this experience in the industry gained previous, uh, pre uh, before graduating. Uh, we also know that the employers tend to offer work experience in sectors where employment is growing, so which is not necessarily related to discipline. So for example, uh, there's all, uh, we hear about these skills gaps in uh, computer science, in the IT sector, and we know that employers in that sector recruit work experience students in, uh, uh, from history backgrounds, for example, or from, from philosophy. Um, uh, another finding that found from a previous study we ran was that there was work experience, work experience recruitment uh, that employers tend to target work students for work experience early on in this uh, study. So they already uh, come to speak to students or uh, come to the campus uh, at the end of the first year or the beginning of the second year of, the, of undergraduate studies. So what we wanted to, to achieve with our uh, business survey is to better understand what sort of a, um, work experience recruitment pra uh, practices employers engage with and uh, to, uh, to see what sort of implication it has to uh, student participation and work experience um, and um, also for the talent supply from an employer's perspective. So the key areas we covered in the survey was the quantity and type of work experience opportunities offered, a reason and benefits why employers offer those opportunities, um, recruitment channel, channels and processes in getting um, access to the students, uh, and what are the challenges and opportunities in the area. I should note that this was a very small scale study, so we, we sent out a survey to 58 businesses and we received 34 responses, and uh, those businesses tend to um, be located in London, large uh, organizations, um, in, in consultancy, finance, bank, communications, uh, um, telecoms, and so on. How do you think it's still valuable? Because it gives um, insight into employer side, what language they use, what are the processes there, and uh, which would be also useful to inform future research in, uh, in the area. Uh, so turning to the findings, uh, we found the high, um, a strong uh, work experience activity among uh, all employers, uh, particularly around uh, paid internships and uh, formal uh, work placements. So. This was also supported actually by our study. So the, the placements, so called sandwich uh, placements over there, and uh, paid internships uh, are the most common um, types of work experiences. So in, for example, nine businesses said uh, that they offered more than 100 uh, uh, paid internships in 2015. Uh, another uh, bunch here is insight uh, and work tasters, job shadowing, uh, and unpaid uh, internships as well. Which, um, which was less so common, but um, still, and you see that the numbers, we, we were left, uh, some of them didn't offer at all, and some of them just or one or, or several, or a few. Um, in terms of uh, duration of those uh, placements, so as you could uh, guess, the placements, which we assume is like a uh, sandwich placement, uh, here we, are, uh, we tend to last seven months or a year. Uh, some of them are shorter as well, uh, and the, those who inside work cases unpaid interns tend to be uh, less than a month uh, long. Another uh, finding as for the elsewhere as well, we found that, uh, that work experience is used as a recruitment tool for establishing longer term hires. Uh, where work experience, interestingly, where work experience is gained is of less of importance to employers and the development of those transferable skills. Uh, so we try to unpick the, the importance of work experience in uh, recruiting un undergraduates uh, by asking employers uh, when was the last time they recruited a university undergraduate into a longer term paid role. So here we see that uh, 
30 businesses said that they uh, employed an undergraduate with a uh, previous work experience in their businesses in the last year. Uh, interestingly, similar here, finding like uh, 30 members, uh, 30 businesses said that uh, they employed a student which had ex work experience somewhere else there. At the same time, uh, 22 businesses said they employed undergraduates with no experience, uh, with no pre previous work experience. So, um, so this is like also shows that uh, uh, there are other reason, considerations, of course. Um, in terms of when did that recruitment took place, 21 businesses said that they that uh, they recruited an undergraduate during their work experience while the student was still involved in the experience or, and while still involved in this in studying as well. Um, 12 said like it was after they finished the, the course already. Uh, another thing that we found is that uh, engaging, uh, again this is like, um, uh, this uh, links to the previous slide on the importance of the uh, work experience and recruitment tool so that uh, for employers uh, engaging in work experiences is important in terms of getting uh, ahead of competitors in the race for talent. So. Uh, we asked about the reasons for offering work experience, and uh, 30 businesses said that for them it was beating. It was important because it helps to beat comparison in the talent race. 29 said it helped to recruit their um, their profile in the graduate recruitment market. Um, 28 said that uh, that helps to close skills gap between higher education and work. Uh, so probably getting all this uh, this uh, soft skill <coughs> competences uh, that are important. Um, at workplace, um, 25 businesses said uh, work, exp work experience was important in uh, spotting um, talent, uh, students from less, advan uh, less advantaged backgrounds. Uh, this was also uh, quite of interest to our study, to Joe in particular, because we tried to look at how, what is the role of work experiences um, in, um, in widening or diversifying the, the, the um, the, uh, the talent supply uh, to the businesses and the employment workforce, uh, and because uh, we saw if if, you, if employers use work experience to support and get access to their talents, and if work experience uh, students from less advantaged backgrounds don't get access to work experience, that like has implications to the uh, to the final um, employment outcomes. Uh, we also found that in terms of how businesses. Um, a recruit those students uh, on work experience placements, but uh, they rely on relationships with universities. Uh, so we see here that 18 businesses uh, said that they use exclusive university relationships always or often. Uh, another 16 uh, said they use uh, their links with local universities. 15 uh, target terrestrial group um, universities, uh, and so on. If we also tried to hear and pick the importance of networks, so we asked um, employers whether they use their family or friends or other staff networks for recruiting uh, uh, work experience students, and 21 said they rarely or never use uh, family or friends of staff, 14 said they never use their, 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 their current employers. On the other hand, they see here that the uh, networks of alumni networks or the uh, or connections with uh, past students is relatively important. So 12 said that they always or uh, often <coughs> use the networks, the past, uh, the networks with uh, past students. Um, in terms of uh, what they thought was the best way of finding undergraduates for work experience, uh, so 13 uh, business said they used uh, university advertising and saw this as the most um, efficient way of uh, finding uh, students. Um, nine use word, uh, word of mouth, so networks again, important again has implications on the access to work experience uh, for, for students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Uh, the six said they use uh, business, their own business website, uh, and five said they use uh, social networks. Um, in terms of uh, why work experience is valuable, a uh, employer said they see it as a key gateway to, uh, a gateway to talent from. Uh, for employers providing both transferable skills, uh, so these uh, employability skills, uh, but also for, for them to er identify um, and spot talent early on. Uh, so we asked about what are the reasons for uh, the offer of work experience, and 34 businesses said that 
uh, that's um, in terms of students, it better employability for students. Uh, so this slide focuses on, on the benefits to students as seen by employers. So before the uh, very well experience uh, offers better employment for students, 34 uh, said they improve skills beyond uh, uh, academic qualification, uh, 34 uh, again seen uh, so work experience important for uh, developing generic transferable skills, uh, 33 said it was a springboard for a job in the sector. Uh, and 25 also said that uh, it was important for less, uh, for less than just students to get access, for them to get fair access to, to higher level jobs. Um, in terms of looking at the importance of uh, each factors, or importance of different factors uh, when choosing the best uh, uh, work experience student, uh, 32 said that attitudes and attitudes for work um, are the essential and very important um, for all the organizations. So again, this employee-employee fit is very important for uh, employers, and uh, this is a particular uh, makes sense when you consider that they actually use those um, work experience to support a uh, talent for for longer-term hires. Um, very disciplined, but here we also found that the discipline of the course uh, and is less of importance, so only 16 said that it's essential and very important, 7 said it was somehow, and 9 said it was not important at all. Uh, the, this finding the reputation of the university attended is somehow contrasted with the previous slide where uh, 15 business or more than 15 business said that the Harvard <coughs> Russell Group uh, universities, they only four mentioned explicitly that your reputation of the university is important, and 15 said that it's not important at all. Um, in terms of the challenges or opportunities in accessing the talent through work experience, uh, 13 businesses said uh, that they didn't have didn't encounter any problems at all. 13 said that uh, competition from other businesses uh, from the same skills is uh, uh, was an issue. So again, this shows that the, uh, there is a employers compete to get the best uh, talent for work experience already. Um, so the report was, uh, the findings of the report uh, were published online on our website. We also have hard copies as well for those who um, would like to have a look. Uh, we will be uh, doing, a colleague of mine will be doing a follow-up study uh, on this study, which uh, we will basically be doing interviewing uh, businesses, those who respond to the survey, but also additional businesses just to get uh, a bit of a wider range of businesses uh, in the research. Uh, and the aim of this project will be to help them understand the language used in work experiences. Uh, so the, it's, it's been identified by a Wakeham review, for example, of, uh, of the employability of STEM uh, graduates that um, were the lack of, the, that we need to be some bridging between the uh, language used by universities and, uh, mm -hmm. and businesses in um, defining work experience. Uh, so that like we can better understand uh, the value of work experience and which types of work experience are more valuable um, uh, and which, uh, than others. Uh, we're also going to uh, look to information from the placement platform, uh, brand new. So this is like a new platform um, uh, application that will be uh, we are developing to be used by students. So we are uh, hoping to get some data from there to see what sort of language uh, uh, students use um, in more experience and how what are the, their uh, experiences there. We also consider perhaps running the survey next year to just see how the trends change. Uh, and what have been recent developments in uh, that particular area. Uh, so now I'll just briefly uh, go through the uh, another survey we did on the, uh, which looked at the work, if, as I mentioned, ex uh, the role of work experience for post for PhD holders and for uh, early career researchers. And uh, why we thought, uh, why we decided to do this study is uh, this summarized quite well. So this was done by the Royal Society. It looks at the career outcomes of um, of PhD graduates. So we see that 33 percent already go to uh, straight away go to career outside academia. Some of them stay for a couple of years, but then uh, move to, to industry. And like very few of them stay all the way through there. So they're not not enough opportunities available, particularly considering the increase of PhD uh, starters. So this was a study that, uh, done by Gehefke, and for example, we can see that uh, comparing 90, uh, the number of PhD starters in 96, 
uh, to 2010, uh, the number almost doubled. Uh, so what we wanted to see what is uh, the role of work experience getting early on to help so to help uh, students, researchers to move uh, to to industry. Uh, so what we did mean to, it was again a small uh, scale study and interviewed uh, 14, uh, 10 universities who employ uh, early career researchers in 10 businesses uh, about their policy and practice in recruiting uh, PhD ho ho uh, holders. And what we hope to identify is that uh, policies and practices used for rec recruitment and ret retention, uh, what are the roles we are taking and identify again challenges and opportunities. Uh, what we found there was that <coughs> businesses, uh, experienced researchers bring a level of specialism that is not present in the house, so they, value, they, they are a valid resource. However, there is a limited number of roles that are available for research um, uh, in, in the industry, uh, and there has to be a consideration of other types of roles uh, they could uh, take, and that was, um, I'll turn to this uh, a bit later. One of the challenges in, the, in terms of challenges identified the board structures in higher education uh, was mentioned as one. So the, the experience in industry is not, uh, doesn't have the same value for the career in academia as, uh, research, uh, as researchers. Sometimes it can be costly for academic to uh, spend the time somewhere uh, outside. Information gaps, so this is links. Uh, so in terms of what roles are available out there in industry, so uh, often it was uh, quoted that academics look for, uh, the early researchers look for roles that would have a, their a thesis title in the job role, which is really the case, and they undervalue the businesses value our um, skills that PhD holders bring, such as uh, research methods, uh, project management, um, attractive funding, and so on. And resources funding was identified in another issue that um, spending um, time and uh, Having um, having this PhD mobility also is quite um, costly in terms of administrative resources and also money, uh, which is a challenge. We al uh, we also saw that uh, there is a, uh, there are some changes, uh, particularly after the impact of the so they, which uh, helped to uh, broaden words and change perceptions about recent PhDs, uh, and the the time and spent industry is uh, becoming more of a uh, more valued by uh, both undergraduates and uh, PhD students. Uh, and we see this um, where opportunities where industry and university can work together to, to share with responsibility of, uh, of uh, bringing more work experience early on in the both undergraduates and um, postgraduate studies. Um, that was all about the most research topics. If you have any questions, happy to answer. But also, uh, <coughs> if you want to get in touch and send me or comments or feedback on the project or any specific questions that um, I would be more than happy to answer those. Thank you very much. I think we do have time for one question if anyone has a burning question that they'd like to ask. Please, Pam. I was just interested in the brand you placement platform that you talked about there. Yeah, could you say a bit more about it? Uh, it's actually very at the early stage of the uh, development, so it will be we are trying to uh, develop an application which would work a little bit like LinkedIn, but for a work experience, uh, and we engage the universities to 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 sign up for it, and then allow their students to sign up, uh, and then to to look for work experience opportunities. And when will that be likely to be kind of live, or should we look out? Uh, it's still in a in a alpha stage, so we're still piloting, and we should have some more updates in summer next this year. Um, so yeah, it's still a very stage. Thank you very much. I do feel this is going to collapse underneath my enormous weight. Um, <laughs> and, and, and